So you want to be importing images in into your into your favorite drawing program? Well, that is a coincidence because this video happens to be just that. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again, taking a look how to import images here. Um, because so many people have been asking me, how do you import images when you're drawing? And 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 that's what we're gonna do today. It it sounds super simple, but a lot of people they they said that they were having a difficult time and. By all means, because, I mean, there's not really a lot of documentation uh, about doing this specifically. And there's a couple of different ways to do it, actually. So, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new image. You're going to have a new image here, of course, just whatever that is. Um, and then when you're here in your canvas and you can draw on whatever, you're going to go to your folder, wherever your image is, right? And then you're going to go ahead and just click and drag your image straight into the canvas. That's it, right there. And then hit Insert as New Layer right there and now you can see you have the uh, image right there and you can go over here and hit this little button right here move the image around scale it rotate it you know it's just anything like that um, and yeah that's how you do it right there uh, there's also another way to do it you can you can do it up here uh, file you can do uh, you can do import uh, animation frames but this is gonna be more than one frame so if I hit, if I hit this um, it's gonna oh, it's gonna open up this little Ooh, open up this little dialogue and it's gonna say hey uh, do you want to add images or remove them if you would add images you can see I can just go to uh, my image and then hit open and then hit OK and then you can see it also has imported that image now but it is actually a frame instead of just a layer itself so if I go to animation up here you can see that it is now actually uh, belonging to a frame so there's two different ways to do it even though that one kind of creates a frame as long as well as um, the image being imported uh, but yeah so that's gonna be it for today's tutorial hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it I will see you in the next one but until then bye bye